The most common question that I still get asked today as a vegan is where do you get your protein from? I get it with people emailing me, with uh, people I meet face to face when they find out that I'm vegan. I just wonder where do you get your protein from? And still today with all the information out there, uh, it's still the most common question. And especially folks who kind of see some of my videos, they see that I'm in pretty good shape and everything, and they must think that I'm supplementing in some way. They must think, oh, he's vegan, he's, he's in good shape. He must be getting some sort of protein supplement from, I don't know, some protein powder, some uh, hemp protein or some other brand of protein that you can kind of buy and supplement with that. No, haven't taken a uh, protein supplement in years. Like literally, I don't know, five years or something. It was the last time I took any sort of, you know, hemp protein or anything like that. So, you know, where do I get my protein from? And uh, even a few years ago when I was asked that question, I, I would have said, oh, I get my protein from nuts and seeds. Because uh, that would be the um, the highest, as a vegan, that would be probably the, your highest um, uh, source of, uh, of protein would be in nuts and seeds. Um, probably higher than, than, than anything else, really. Um, so that's what I would have said. But today when I get asked that question, I say, well, I get my protein from everything I eat. Everything I eat has protein in it, and that's where I get my protein from. And so if I'm getting uh, roughly 10% um, protein for my, for my caloric intake that, that day, that is enough protein. That's, that's all I need, that's all my body needs, maybe even more than it needs, but that's enough. And if I'm eating a, a good range of fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, that is plenty of protein. Um, if you're eating uh, processed foods and things, then it's possible if everything you eat is completely processed. Because there are some vegans who, you know, don't think about their health. They just think that they don't want to, you know, contribute to the, you know, the, the slaughter of the animals and the, the deforestation and you know the effect that it has on the planet. So, so they're just uh, vegans for that reason, and then they end up eating, you know, all this uh, really processed food. It's so processed down the line that it's really just like you know eating cardboard. It's devoid of nutrition. So. If it's devoid of nutrition, it's devoid of protein, and yes, they might they may be deficient in protein, but they're also deficient in everything else as well. But if you're getting your if you're eating the raw materials, the raw materials from as close eating as close to nature as possible, you, you, there's no doubt you're going to be getting enough protein, and that's the bottom line. And you don't need to eat any sort of uh, supplement or uh, hemp protein powder or, or anything like that. To, to get enough protein, even if you're an athlete, even if you're lifting weights, even if you're you know, trying to get muscle, trying to put on bulk, you don't need to have some outside source of protein. You, know, you look at the animals in the jungle, you look at the gorilla, you don't look at the gorilla and go, wow, you know, it's a huge, awesome animal that can rip a human limb from limb. You're much more strong and much more powerful than a human. You can see its huge muscles. You don't think, where does that animal get its protein from? You don't, you don't think, he must be supplementing. You know, that, that silverback, you know, he must be on the hemp protein powder. <laughs> you know, you don't think that because obviously he's just, that's his, he's, just a natu he's just naturally like that, right? Humans are the same. Humans are the same as the, the gorilla, the, the, the rhinoceros, um, the, you know, the, the hippo, all these big strong animals, a racehorse, really fast, um, you know, like a stallion, rippling muscles. They don't need any, well, obviously some of them are pumped with steroids, some of the racehorses, but, you know, they, to get big and muscular, they don't need any form of supplementation. They just get it from the, the natural foods, the grasses that they're eating to get like that. So, even in the the raw food, vegan, vegan type community, the health sort of orientated community, I still see to this day, you know, people have been in the field for a long time, they're still kind of harping on about protein. And, you know, if, especially if they're athletes and they're building muscle, they still take um, some other, I'm not going to mention any brand names, but they still take some other um, supplementation of protein. Great for the protein companies, you know, great for the companies that are selling this protein because even the folks that seem to be educated on this, that seems to be like in the know, don't seem to know. And they're talking about eating this great uh, diet, this vegan diet, this raw vegan diet, and then they're still supplementing with a protein powder. It doesn't make sense. You, you don't need it. 
Everything you have, everything you need is going to be in your food. If you're eating the raw materials, if you're eating as close to nature as possible, and you're getting enough calories that you're basically to do your workouts, to burn the energy, and also have enough that the muscle will grow, you're getting your full range of amino acids from the foods that you're eating, then you don't need a supplement with any uh, protein powder or any other supplement, um, like the amino acid supplements that you get, glutamate and all that sort of stuff, just not necessary. What I have found is, uh, what, what boosts my testosterone is when I eat uh, Brazil nuts, almonds, Th those two nuts seem to boost my testosterone. I, I, I can feel it. When I, when I eat a, uh, like a handful of those every day, I, I find that uh, I feel stronger. I find that um, I can, uh, you know, guys know when their testosterone is boosted. You feel it within. You think, okay, I'm, my testosterone is pretty high at the minute. And I get that from almonds and Brazil nuts. So, you know, if you want to you know, boost your testosterone, if you want to, you know, get strong, build muscle, don't need the supplements. You definitely don't need the animal products. But as well, you don't even need the supplements. That is a myth as well. As well as, as, well as the animal products, the supplements are also a myth. So simply this, get your caloric uh, needs for the day, get whatever you need, plus some more, so that muscle will build. Get it from the raw materials, get, eat as close to nature as possible, and that is all you need. My name is Matthew Armstrong, Tune in next time.